In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own grips for your crochet hooks. Many of you buy them with the grips already on them, but I'm going to show you how to make your own grips with everyday things that you have in your own house. No polymer clay needed. All that's coming up next on Crocheting with Nyler. If you crochet a lot like I do, you probably have a ton of crochet hooks. I mean, you can never have too many, but they come in different types. And then they come like this, where they have no grips at all, which they're fine, but they're just hard to kind of grab onto when you're working, and they make working and crocheting a little challenging. So I came up with a couple of my own. This is one that I made that's actually wrapped with yarn. This is one that was wrapped in yarn but also covered with hot glue. And this one right here, which is drying, this is a bulky one. This one I covered with masking tape first to give me some bulk. And then I covered with yarn and then hot glue. So it has a really nice grip. So I'm going to show you today how we can turn some of these plain ones like this into some grip ones like this. Now, if you see me make my crochet graph ends, you notice I have a bunch of these little bobbins. And you're left with a lot of these bobbins when you're done with a project. So why not use them to create a crochet grip? I'm going to start with, this is a G hook. So I see that my letter G is closer to here. So I'm going to start back here. And I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right there. And I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to lay it in that glue. And as I lay it, I'm going to try to wrap it so that I can get it to adhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep wrapping in one layer sessions until the glue runs out. And that's where my glue runs out right there. Then you're going to take the glue gun. You're going to put another, heat up what's already there. Put another bead of glue. And I'm having to work really fast because I'm sitting over here near my air conditioner. So I'm rolling and wrapping rather fast to get that glue to set. And I'm going to hold it to make sure that the glue sets. One thing you don't want to do is do not touch it. Because there's glue sitting out here on the edge. If you touch it, it's going to turn white. And it's going to look kind of bad. Alright, so now let's keep going more glue wrap and roll so now I put a little bit more glue on the end and I'm using a high temp glue gun now I'm coming back so now you're ready for round two you're gonna put a little bit of glue and do the same thing going in the opposite direction but you're slanting the yarn slightly that way you're covering all of the excess crack cracks and you're just going to keep wrapping until you run out of glue. Wrap and roll. So now we're going back here just a little bit. And we're going to continue to wrap. So now that it's dry, we're going to come back in the opposite direction. This is row or round three. I want to take advantage of that extra glue that spilled out in between the seams. So I'm wrapping backwards. So now I'm coming back down to round five. Like I said, you make this as thick as you want. Now this one's a little thicker than the one I did with the green one. So I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Okay, I'm at the end of my little bobbin. So this is where I'm going to stop. As you see, I got a little tail sticking out right here on the end. I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right there and I'm going to take another crochet hook and press it down so I don't stick that to my hand now I am going to use my finger to wrap that glue around that back side now that that one's all done as you can see you have a really nice variegated crochet hook grip. 
For our second one, I'm going to use this gold crochet hook. It's a size H. And I have this really pretty butter uh, color. So again, we're going to start by going behind the letter so you can read what size it is. Put a little bit of glue. And wrap. Now we got that anchored. You're going to keep wrapping until you run out of glue. So you're going to do the same process on this one as you did with the variegated yarn one. So here's the one I did. It's called a buttercream. As you can see, it's a little bit larger than the one I did with the variegated. And so now I'm going to try to mimic this one. Maybe not as bulky. But this is my size K hook. So I'm going to take some masking tape and I'm going to start just below where I can see the, the size of the hook and I'm just going to open up the tape and I'm just going to wrap it in the opposite direction going down and this is just going to add some bulk to the bottom and then we're going to come all the way back up to the top. I'm going to go ahead and you can tear it. You don't have to cut it. And go ahead and put this. Okay, now we're going to take the masking tape and squish it down. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Really tight. So as you can see, you already got a base. It's already nice and firm, but that's not what we want. So you're going to do the same process you did before. Adding a little bit of glue. And that's to get us started. You put um, one piece there. And I like to kind of put one and let it just sit there and then wrap. And then that way I can wrap around and now I want to go all the way to the top and I'm wrapping backwards inside of the glue all the way down until the glue stops. Okay, so now I'm at the end. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end, just a little bit, because I'm going to do some back wrapping to incorporate the end but I'm just back wrapping because the glue is going to hold because you want the bottom of the crochet hook to be encased as well so now wrap once and then wrap again wrap around go over wrap around Put a little bit more glue, wrap over, wrap around, wrap over again. You just kind of want to seal in that, that end so that you don't see any of that tape. Alright, so now we're going to go back up to the top. And you're going to wrap and hold and wrap. We're going to cover this one in glue and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there to seal off that end and then I'm going to clip. So now we're going to cover this with glue. This is the fun part but the challenging part. So now you're going to add glue all over. You're going to cover the whole thing. As it starts to run, you rotate it. And you let wherever it runs, you let that be where you go. So see how mine's running? And I'm turning it to keep up with the run. So we're letting it run. This is going to give us more of a grip. So now if you notice that the other side wants to fall backwards, rotate it and bring it back this way. Do you see I'm just putting more glue? 
I'm loading up the glue. I'm like using almost a whole glue stick. Now we're taking it and we're turning it. So wherever it wants to drop, turn it in the opposite direction. So now it wants to drop, turn it in the opposite direction. If you see where a puddle, I saw this puddle right here trying to puddle on the other side. So I'm holding it this way to stop the puddle, to kind of even it out. And then I just keep turning. Almost like a rotisserie crochet hook. So since it doesn't start to run, I'm going to take a styrofoam piece and I'm going to put my hook inside and I'm going to let it sit there and dry. And I'll come back and let you see what it looks like after the fact. Okay, so while those are cooling, we're going to go to the next one. This is a J-hook and I'm going to bling this one up. I've got these with the sticky back on them, but I want to take the sticky back off. So now I've got the green on here. So what I'm going to do with this one is the same thing. I'm going to start at the sides and just kind of add some glue. Now that we got the glue pretty much done there, I'm going to take one piece of the rhinestones and adhere them to the glue and I'm going to cut. We're going to do the same thing next to it. Put a row of rhinestones. And then I'm going to add my next row. Place. And I got a little small piece. I'm just going to wrap it around the top. talk about a grip. This is a grip with bling. Our pink one is done. As you can see, you can still see the pink yarn um, inside of the glue and the glue's on the outside. But when I grab it, it has such a nice grip. It has a really good grip. So here are all the ones we've done. Like I said, this was one I did some time back with some rubber bands. And these the ones that these are the ones that you buy in the store that, that are already done for you. But, here are the ones that we did ourselves. Mask and tape yarn, hot glue cover. And my favorite, the bling machine. This is the bling crochet hook. You gotta love this. So, I hope you guys try this. I hope this has been fun. It has been for me. And I hope that you try it. Happy crocheting.